Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! Okay, I guess by this time you already know that I'm back in the Philippines and aside from showing you my room, I also want to share my experience with you on my flight back to the Philippines because I think this would be helpful for those who are still unsure of how it will go when you arrive here. So. I hope I can help you on that and where should I start? Um, okay, before boarding your flight, maybe 24 hours before boarding, um, you would need to download the Trades app, T-R-A-Z-E, and then it will give you a QR code and you also need to register for the One Health Pass or OHP, which would also give you a QR code. So the Trace app is for contact tracing and then the OHP is like your specific ID for um, specific ID here na you arrived, you arrived in the Philippines. And you would need that dun pa lang sa departure airport. They would ask for the QR code from the Trace app and from OHP. So um, note that everything that I'm saying here is already um, on the website of Bureau of Quarantine and also depending on your airlines, I flew with Philippine Airlines. Mapuhay! <laughs> Anyways, I flew with BAL so what I'm saying is also what they wrote in their guidelines. So I just follow that. If you follow, actually if you follow um, what they wrote there, you're gonna be okay. And so again, you need to register for the Trace app and for the One Health Pass or OHP before boarding. You also need to print out your flight details as well as your hotel confirmation because they would be looking for that. As for the hotel confirmation, um, if you're coming from green countries, Taiwan is one of them, you can um, check the list in also in the Bureau of Quarantine website or just search for it. Um, green country, countries declared by the Philippines and if you're coming from green countries you would as of as of what day is it today as of the posting of this video I guess uh, as of October 27 is it 27 today I think yeah it's October 27 today um you only need to have an eight days quarantine if 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 okay sorry i'm so i'm so magulo okay if you're coming from a green country and if you're not yet vaccinated fully vaccinated so ibig sabihin if one shot ka pa lang kasama ka pa rin sa category ko you would need to quarantine for 8 days okay again if you're coming from a green country and you're not yet fully vaccinated you would need to quarantine for 8 days and that's what you need to show for your hotel confirmation uh, before arriving in the Philippines and actually yun lang, yun lang yung kailangan when, when I went back and the process was actually very smooth good job Philippines and less than an hour lang ako so um, after mag land nung airplane there would be someone from Coast Guard I think a military person who would give you an introduction on, on what will happen when you um, go to the airport so they would have rules for OFWs and they would also have rules for non-OFWs but residents and also for foreigners and um, don't worry if you weren't able to get all of the details when they tell it try to write it though it would be helpful because um, when, when you go out to the airport they would also have like this signs that will say for non-OFWs, for OFWs, for transit, transit passengers and stuff. So just be ready. Just always be ready with your passport and your OHP and Trace app QR code. Because that's what they will ask for. And then after going through that extra step, extra step, which is yung. I think that's scheduling for the swab, for the RT-PCR test. So after that, you go with the normal process. You go to um, immigration and then you get go get your baggage and then you're done. So it's, it's actually really fast. If I would give a tip, I would say if you're going to go home to the Philippines, 
if there's a sim, Philippine sim, that you could buy. Well, at least for now, ha? Huh? I'm not sure if this is the case for like a regular case, if special lang yung sa akin. But I would suggest that you buy a sim kung saan man kayong bansa manggagaling right now. Because for me, I didn't do that. And unfortunately, the Wi-Fi at the airport requires a mobile number. So whenever I try to connect, it would say na we have sent a code to this number. So I know my number here, but it's not with me. My Philippine number is not with me. So um, I have no way to contact my um, hotel transfer service. So I needed to buy a SIM card at the airport, which is very, very, very expensive. So my tip for you guys would be to buy a SIM card, Philippine SIM card. Before I get here, I think it, it, it will still be cheaper. So, but aside from that, aside from that, um, the process went really smooth. It went really well, and I would like to commend the staff, all the airport staff, because they were so um, helpful and they keep on asking if I need any assistance because I was just standing there trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. So, yeah, but. Yeah, so that, that's it for the arrival at the airport. And then, some of the quarantine hotels, or most, I guess, most of the quarantine hotels would require you to avail of their um, tran air, um, hotel transfer service from the airport to the hotel because for safety reasons. So, lucky for me, my hotel, again, Hotel Gen by Shangri-La here in Pasay City um, offers that. So, I'm assured that I would be safe from from the airport to the hotel and um, but if you don't have or if you don't want to avail your hotel's transport transport service there are also um, taxis that you can rent accredited taxis and there are also um, staff airport staff or military people that would um, help you get those taxis so that you can travel um, to your quarantine hotel and what else yeah so now we're at the hotel again if you're coming from a green country and you're non OFW you would need to book um, eight days in your quarantine hotel the list of the quarantine hotels is given at the Bureau of quarantine website um, some there are also some personal websites that gives a list of um, those hotels and they, they categor categorize it depending on the city that you want to stay in but for me I chose within Pasay so that it's easier and if if you're coming from a green country you own you would have your swab your RT-PCR test on the fifth day of your quarantine. So, the day one starts on your arrival in the Philippines. And then on the fifth day, you would have your swab test. And it's actually my fifth day. So, I had my swab um, earlier this morning. And my experience on the swab was, it wasn't painful. But, um, it's gonna make you cry and a little bit, parang masusuka. But, you won't. You won't. Parang feeling lang. And then, yeah, it's not it's not as painful as I thought. Or as long as pain tolerance. <laughs> Anyways, um, what else? Yeah. So I guess yun lang. After my eight days, actually, um, one more. Sorry, ang gula. One more is, um, after your swab on the fifth day, if they release your results and it's negative, you can uh, um actually go home already. That's what the um, people at the airport told me and that's what um, the people who did the RT-PCR test on me earlier also said. But, so, lalabas yung result ng swab after 24 hours. So, on your day 6. And then they said I can go home. But, dun sa guidelines kasi, or maybe I just got it wrong, um, it's 8 days. So, I'm not sure how that will work. If you will if it's okay if you just book six days and then you just extend but yeah just make sure you, if if you're not sure you just ask but for me i'm gonna max i already booked my stay so i'm gonna maximize it and then on my eighth day i'm 
gonna go home, I'm gonna go back to my house, and then quarantine again for six days. And um, that's when yung local government unit na yung mag 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 monitor nung, nung case if I'll be positive or negative. But hopefully it's negative. I've been um, taking extra um, measures to be safe. Double mask, face shield, alcohol everywhere. And yeah, I guess that's it for this video. I go I hope this helped you in a way prepare on coming home to the Philippines. And if you have more questions, you can reach me at my Instagram at I am Phoenix. Again, at I am Phoenix I A M B H O E N I C S. Or you can comment down below if you have any and I'll see you on my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.